Well, a show car sends warning to Peter Obi ahead of 2027 election discloses why he must not be president. Can you imagine? This will show I know that for uh, close to 12 hours now, will show has been uh, the key news in, in the key news now. They do, he doesn't want Peter Obi to contest 2027 because they know exactly what he can do. The kind the, when he contested last year, 2023. In fact, he, the, he was the rave of the moment and it was too complex for Ole Shoenka and Tinubu and all of them to handle. And now, with what has happened, the next contest coming 2027 is going to be huge for them to manage. And I'm sure it's, it's fear that is worrying both Tinubu and Ole Shoenka. That's why he's saying Peter Obi should not contest. Why shouldn't Peter Obi contest? And that's why people are saying that grey hair does not mean wisdom or intelligence. For him, People have been respecting him over time, thinking that he still has his uh, judgment intact. But from what we are seeing, his judgment has been beclouded by tribal bigotry. And he's biased right now. That is why he's saying all these things that he's saying. But I think it's not going to it's not going to work. Okay? So he doesn't want Peter B to contest in 2027 so that they can have it as a free ride. No. The Nobel laureate, Wole Shoenka, has stated that Labour Party uh, 23 presidential candidate Peter Obi is unfit to rule Nigeria. How? Speaking during a recent interview, the Reverend writer or the revered writer claimed that Obi asked his followers, known as obedience, to attack him and others with opposing views online in the build up to a 2023 presidential election. So he advised Obi not to run for president. For presidency in the next election for the sake of the nation. How? So he insisted that the Labour Party stakeholders could not lead Nigeria because of obedience, whom he claimed were under the directive of the former Anambra governor, were constantly trolling people with diverse views. So Shoyinka stated that obedience will soon turn on Obi and also teach him a lesson. So when asked what he thinks about he, the movement, he said it has to do with education. I didn't read all these insults by the movement, but of course, some links were sent to me, especially when facts were being manufactured. So when I read these things, I was disgusted. There's no other word for it. He really was disgusted. I was disgusted, okay? And I know that it was orchestrated. So I know that there is a relay mechanism which is triggered into action by those who control what we call the trolls of the internet. And so by my disgust and contempt, okay, I just went about my business, you know, because nobody, uh, anybody on this earth who thinks they can stop me telling the truth as I see it needs to have his or her head examined. It is as elementary as that. But it is depressing to see those who wanted to be political leaders encouraging that kind of action, the kind of attitude in the youth, and my mind went to the expression. They don't know what they are doing. Those who sow the wind will reap the whirlwind. Can you imagine? So one of these days, they would be astonished. They would turn on them and teach them a lesson. And so my attitude also very blazed and it is for me a sad phenomenon especially for those who want to lead multi textured society different religions different ethnic groups different world views who actually want to preside over such a group as one if it means it means that they have already declared themselves incompetent to lead such a, an entity in english they speak I hope for the sake of the nation that he doesn't express interest in the next election because for me as a leader, if there was any proof that he was unfit to lead the, the country, it is in the conduct which he encouraged among his followers. Can you imagine? So this statement has actually sparked outrage among Nigerians because well, the car has, he called, first of all, he called Peter Big Bad Jewel uh, some time ago uh, the, which means a cheat in Yoruba land. And now he's coming to say he's not fit to rule because the bidders were trolling him. What about Tinubu and APC 
that have also um, hired propagandist uh, merchant, merchants to keep generating propaganda online. What about uh, Tinubu that called the big Gringori and said, uh, you know, now statistics will go chop. Uh, what about Tinubu that said it is very, very disgusting for him to hear the name of Obi? So what do you have to say about that? So this old man is actually acting out of the norms. And that is why people are angry with him. You can't continue to say such things and you expect to end the respect of the people. Okay, now they are out for him. And he's going to get it. And he got it actually. He got it seriously. And uh, somebody has come out to say, Wole Inka, you are an unfit elder statesman and can never end any trust from any reasonable Nigerian youth unless an irritation irrational or irritational youth how on earth that ob is the one influencing the nigerian youth okay rational thinking nigerian youths are sick and tired of the junkie and sicky presidents you people are being uh pointing to rule to rule us see the state of the nation under your godfather and lord and uh, lord tinubu is there any good from this government i think you are now mentally demented if truly you make this statement not an ego person at all but i'm so angry to hear such a garbage from you hmm. they don't give them they don't give them i'm telling you they don't give them let me see yes, somebody say not ego but a video tabi brother kindly express your view and stop insulting elders Thank you. Okay. Oh, some say you and your family are the idiots. They are already quarreling there. I tell you. So this man, Uhole Shoyenka, is a hypocrite. I thought the man is true to all his interventions on government issues. All this why he is not fit to offer any advice to any government. I tell you. Some say, what do you expect from a by God? Of course. That is what he is. Baba is a tribalist. He realized that the brother he is supporting is not performing. Bro, you can't take people to Ojota again to protest. Exactly. To, things are worse now. Tribalist by God. That is what they are. This man has lost so many respect from Yoruba people. I am not proud of him anymore. Eh? This man revolted and protested under good luck, Jonathan. I tell you, when fuel was 165 naira before Jonathan brought it back to 95 naira. Now his own tribe is there. Rice is 80,000 naira. Fuel is almost 1,000 naira per liter. Okay. Um, dollar is 1,500 naira. He can't criticize the government. It was Obi who is not in power. He is busy fighting. Now who do us like this for this country? I'm telling you, it's very bad. No man born of a woman can stop Obi not to be the revolutionary president of this country except God. So if God has picked Obi to save the and deliver this country, so it shall be. Some say you guys have uh, some senses. Show restraint. It is even possible the man never made this comment. Perhaps this may be a hatchet job. It's not a hatchet job. He made it clearly on TV. So what are you saying? And somebody I told him, Trudy, I totally agree with your position. I am particularly not a fan of Professor Ole Senka, but one thing is clear. Some of the obedience can do this. Okay, well, that's what you think. Um, so with the level of agony your fellow drug party uh, man have imposed in the land and region, you people still want civility, Abby. You can't get civility now. People are angry. Okay, even in the face of your nativity, or naivety, so with your courtist gang, eh, it don't go work. It will not work. So the thing here is that he has shown the kind of person he is, and almost everybody is trolling him. He made a statement on TV, so it's not a cook up against him, and that is why Obida uh, Dati Dati Ahmed has also gone to TV to respond to him. I tell you, so I think we need to also bring that update to the people. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment on this.